name Paulo, and this is our pup Bali. We've been traveling the world part-time, going on different adventures and making new memories. Like most of you, COVID has changed some of our plans. Instead of our original idea, we took a four-hour road trip to Cincinnati, Ohio, where we spent the weekend. Today, we started the day by going to an interesting food market and comparing some of the Cincinnati spaghettis, which can be seen in our last vlog. Today's vlog picks up at a medieval castle that was built in the 1920s. it started to rain which led us to a cute coffee shop right across from the mushroom house. This is a quick and neat stop as this is someone's actual house. After some delicious coffee we made a quick stop at the Cincinnati Music Hall. I told Paula we had to stop at the Cincinnati Music Hall because it's home to the second oldest opera in America. This building was built in 1878 to have a Victorian Gothic architecture. And it's a beautiful building. Um, if y'all don't know, I was in choir since I was like three years old. So I'm a big choir person. And so I had to stop by this place. decided to go on an adventure to look for proof of the Cincinnati subway by searching for some portal openings. The Cincinnati subway was a project started in the early 1900s but came to a halt in the 1920s due to the Great Depression, leaving behind the largest abandoned subway system in the world. Alright, I think I'm going to get out of here uh, and so that we can continue on to the next stop. But I do want to mention like there's beer cans, there's shoes, there's clothes, there's towels, there's I mean all sorts of stuff and like plastic tubs and stuff like this is uh, like I mean this is crazy, this is spooky, this is I, I wouldn't want to spend a night here at all but at the same time being that this is one of the oldest subway systems that I have been nearby and it's abandoned that's pretty cool uh but anyways let's get back up there to the car let's drive to another one and see what the situation there is is it comparable to this or is it different let's go check out We're at 
the second location that I was talking about. So these aren't as creepy because these are kind of blocked off, but there's graffiti everywhere. So apparently these two, this one, and then there's another one right there. Those two were the entry points to the subway. Um, I mean, I, I have no clue. I don't, I don't think we can get in at all. I wish we would be able to, but I mean, that's so cool. I can see the old structure, but the structure, you can see it. So cool. That's all I'm gonna get because it's raining. So I'm gonna get back in the car and uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty awesome to see such things. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go in the Cincinnati subway portals, but we're gonna link a video on people that were able to because it looks really creepy. Okay, so with that in mind, um, yes, we weren't able to get into the southbound area, but in that area that I was able to reach and get to, there was, I had a possibility of going into it because it was wide open basically. But since I didn't have a flashlight and since I didn't really know where it was gonna go, um, I decided not to. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna eat German food today. So uh, I'm excited for that. has such a strong German heritage and background, we decided we would come to a German restaurant. And this one is called Hoftbras. <laughs> so I got the worst plate, which has bratwurst, beerwurst, and metwurst. And Paula got the Heidelberger Rams Spatz. So it looks like some type of noodle with chicken and mushrooms. <laughs> 